Hello everybody, welcome back to SnowRunner once again. Today we're checking out a really cool mod here. This is a 1993 Ram 250, the Power Ram 250 actually, by Invalid Redneck. It is a pretty sweet ride. I'm going to show you some uh, other things you can do uh, with the actual truck itself. We go here into our mod manager, our little tool options here. We can go to garage. You have options for a bed. Uh, obviously that's what we have back there. You got a bug shield in the front, bumper options. Uh, you can change those out. You have bumper tube if you want on the front. Uh, you can put dually fenders on there because you can actually put a dually axle uh, or uh, set of wheels back there. Uh, exhaust stock. You put uh, some stacks. Those don't work there. Uh, so extra weight. Um, so it keeps it weighted down. Fifth wheel hitch flat. Uh, you can actually take the back bed off and then put a whole flat bed back there as well, which is really cool. And then it has a gooseneck for a trailer uh, to make it, uh, you know, obviously a sensible vehicle to use in the game uh and then the camper shell on it which we have gearbox is a default one i'm using the off-road and then we have the tuned engine uh and then winch upgrade we've got that uh, battery one you can do some customizations to change the colors uh, between black and red and uh i think it's yeah there's tan red uh black and then there's green so we'll go with the uh the black and then to change suspension you got default uh which is pretty low with even with those tires uh then you have lifted uh lifted er lifted er toe and then lifted toe so i i'm going with lifted er it seems to work pretty good uh you can change out the tires here quite a few options i like the ones i have on here kind of looks like a i think those are bead locks actually uh and then you can change rims obviously not a whole lot left to see there we'll put it away but I do want you to listen to this thing because it sounds so awesome. I do want to say thanks to, uh, you know, Invalid Redneck that makes this uh, mod here and uh, makes other really cool ones that I have. And all the other modders out there, uh, Frog and, and everybody that I just can't think of everybody off the top of my head. But uh, I mean, if it wasn't for those guys, we would not be seeing the quality of uh, mods we've been seeing coming out on the I.O. Uh, as of late. Well, enough about the truck. Let's talk about what map we're on. Where are we located? We are checking out the new Split Ridge Peaks map that was released, and uh, it is pretty darn big when it comes to a modded map. Uh, there's a lot to it. There's actual watchtowers, um, and then, believe it or not, you have under contracts, you have some things to do, uh, and there are actual tasks you can come across on here, which is Kind of makes it like a DLC map in a way. Pretty darn neat. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up because this has that Cummins engine in it and it sounds so good. Oh, listen to that sucker come to life. Turn our headlights on and uh, listen to the whistle. Oh, yes. How nice is that? All right, I'm going to make a right-hand turn up here, and we'll check it out. Let me get a couple frame drops here and there. I uh, wanted to say happy Monday to all of you. I really hope you guys had a good weekend. I had a lot of fun. Had a good time. Uh, just relaxed. A lot of relaxing, which I don't do a whole lot of. Uh, but I got it done. Hopefully you uh, got to do that as well, and it wasn't uh, too crazy and hectic, because here we are, ready to get the week going here today uh up and over yes 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 look at this this thing is unstoppable it's not very fast with all-wheel drive on right now but i mean it's uh going up these big big rocks with this suspension it's it's eating it for breakfast like <laughs> not a problem at all oh look at that nice little uh, lake down there so let's check out the interior it doesn't have working gauges but uh it is that old style of uh, of the ram that we know and love and then on top of that we have real tree fabric in here for our seats that's very nice very nice touch and i like how the uh the rust on the side of the truck is tastefully done as well i think it's a great looking uh truck indeed well this guy does some weird stuff let me show you if i come down here to the bottom we're gonna park it up here in the mud let's sink in the mud because i do want to see uh, how it handles this but if you do this and uh we shut the engine off this guy he starts to stare at you <laughs> dude he okay now he's falling asleep no wake up i'm talking to you dude 
Like I, I'm talking to you. What's he doing? But he was looking at us for a second there. He's not anymore. This very, I don't know, he looks like a crackhead or something. He was all freaking out. All right, let's see what this is like in the mud. I mean, that's pretty, pretty good. Dangerous water level. Oh, I don't have a snorkel on this. Probably should have put a snorkel on it. Okay, so that's just an auto there. So we put it in low and then diff lock and just crawl. This thing should, yeah, have no issue at all getting through that mud. That looks nice. I have noticed that there's uh, brake lights, but uh, when you, you have the headlights on, you don't have any taillights. So there's no taillights on this so far. I don't know what that, uh, oh, that's, I think it's from the sun, or it's bleed through from the front lights, maybe. That's another thing, the, uh, the fog lamps don't come on. Oh, although maybe it's because of what time it is. Uh, let's see, let's change the time of day uh, into the night and see if that comes on. Sometimes it takes nighttime. Yep, there it is right there, so it does work. And it does have tail lights and working lights on the top. Let's just drive at night a little bit here. We didn't do that uh, a lot uh, last time I did a mod showcase here. But you can see right there, very capable truck. Uh, I haven't had to use the winch yet to get out of it. Cool looking truck though. I love the um, the lights on the on the roof there and then on the back as well. Used to see these trucks all the time, man. I've, I'm just a huge fan of those uh, those body styles on trucks, the old square bodies, uh, especially like a GMC uh, or Silverado. Those older ones look so good. Let's change time back. Early morning. Let's make it in the afternoon. It looks like it's raining. There we go. I guess that'll work. I don't even know what time it's even showing. <laughs> It'll probably tell us in here, nighttime. Okay, afternoon. There we go. Now we can see it again. Wonderful. Yeah, I don't have a snorkel on this thing and it's doing pretty decent. There's the damage to the engine. There it was. All right, cool. Well, I mean, other than that, it seems to be doing pretty good with fuel from what I can tell. It, I think it's gonna be a fuel eater for sure. I mean, look at that. We're, when you're stuck down in some stuff, you know, it's two and a half gallons a minute. That's going to go pretty fast, actually. You wouldn't think it, but I'm telling you, if you're going to use this as a scout vehicle, uh, that would that definitely matters. Okay, this thing's getting some speed going here, even with all-wheel drive on. Let's turn all-wheel drive off and get a little crazy with it here. Come on, get some speed. There you go. Yes, clear the roots and everything else. What a neat map. And I like that it's, uh, yeah, see, it's not a very fast truck. I mean, still for the terrain, it is fast. Oh, slow down, slow down. Oh man, we found ourselves a mud pit here. Found ourselves a mud pit here, boys. Let's slow it down for a second. Um, I did want to talk about uh, Flight Sim. They had the new uh, patch come out recently, and it broke a lot of stuff, but it also did fix a lot for people, uh, including performance. That was the biggest reason why I haven't put out a whole lot of that uh, content. I've been having some performance issues with it. So until a new PC is built, uh, now that those new cards are out, man, it's coming soon. Uh, once that's taken care of, hopefully I'll get better performance out of it, but I can't even like fly the airliners and stuff uh, without it being an absolute mess. Okay, so we found our match here. The deep water. It does not like the deep water. I don't like go to that one. Let's yeah, let's go to that tree. I mean, it's pulling it with the winch. Eh, maybe not. Oh no, she's all <laughs> back it up. Oh, we've damaged our truck. Come on, you can get out of this. Let's go to low, diff lock, and crawl. We might be here for a minute here, folks. Just might. Let's get some, uh, yeah, I know the water is damaging the truck. There we go. Use the power of the winch. Let go of it. Back into auto. Does nothing. We have to get over that again now, okay. 
Well, let's just do this then. Use the winch. It is our friend. Oh, there we go. We got a winch point all the way across there. That'll help out a lot. Sadly, we damaged the right front of our truck already. What a shame. Oh, man. We got this thing nice and dirty. There we go. All right. We'll, we'll, put, we'll put it in low and, and diff lock on. I know the off-road people are probably shaking their head right now as I was driving in auto mode. That's usually what I do. There we go. Yeah, with that diff lock on, that helps out a lot, especially getting out of this stuff right here. It's just slow. And when you get impatient, you don't want to deal with it. There you go, buddy. He's a, he's a happy looking dude, but sometimes he does some things when you have the camera looking at him. Very, very weird. All right, back to auto. Let's climb, baby. Use that engine. Listen to that thing. Just scream. Whistling like crazy. So I'm excited to try that out. Hopefully I can get some uh, some decent uh, performance tour. We can do that because I know you like the flight sim content and I do too. But I mean, there's plenty of other people out there just doing nonstop flight sim content of the new sim. And... Uh, I, I want to make sure that uh, whenever I record it, uh, there's a purpose to it other than, you know, to fly from point A to point B or to go through because I haven't done that yet. I want to go through all the airplanes. Oh, check it out. We got a little, uh, little gas station here. Grishel Gas Company. So all the prefabs are that you know and love are here. Turn off all wheel drive now. Let's see what this thing can do on pavement. There's some speed. Now it's getting into that final gear. I mean, not super fast, but not necessarily slow either. But yeah, I think I'll go through and we'll fly each airplane in the sim. So we can get a, uh, a nice feel for it all. There's the other truck I was talking about that uh, you get in the beginning. I believe I talked about it, right? Can't even remember at this point. I think so. Caution around the curve here. This is a nice open highway. And see, this is something that was really lacking in the main game. Having actual highways to go down. Because they have all those highway trucks and highway tires. And it made no, no sense. It made absolutely no sense when you didn't have any highways to, to utilize. This map actually gives us a decent highway. I like it. Well, you know, we're here for off-road, so let's let's check the map and see where we're at here. We came all the way down, so there's the town. Uh, there's a watchtower back here. Let's go get those two watchtowers over there. Right behind us. I can see the trail from here. Oh, poor truck. You know what? Let's get a, uh, a repair kit out of the back here. I think we actually have repair points. Uh, no, we do not. So what we'll do... Show damage. Eh, we'll just do the old, uh, the old repair kit. There we go. Now we fixed our uh, our right front. Cool. Back to it again. This, this is the mansion. This is the road. Yeah, it is. All right, all-wheel drive, baby. But you can tell these tires, man. They just want to grab dirt. That's what they want. All right, here's a watchtower here. By the way, you might hear a loud noise in the background. Nothing I can do about it. We have a generator uh, at this house, and, you know, in case of a, a hurricane or something, it knocks the power out, which we've actually had power outages before, and it kicked on, and we were the only ones who had power on the entire block for, like, hours. But it does a self-run mode every Monday around this time, and it just kicked on, so that's what that sound is in the background. Do a nice little uh, observation and look at this. The map maker actually put this all in their map. That is so cool. That is really good stuff. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Okay, we have to continue down the road now the other way to the other watchtower. Oh, there's a bridge over there and some water. Nice. Well, this is a pretty technical spot here. Uh, still climbing along to try to get up to this next uh, watchtower. 
which I think I've already got. Let's look at our map here. We have uh, this washer up here, but then down here is where that little spot is, and it looks like there's a truck there to check out, one of those cats. So uh, we'll come down this little trail here and check it out. So throwing it in low and uh, jumping on with some diff lock there, this has helped out tremendously. Now we're climbing like no problem at all. All right, I think we made it all the way to the top. Yes, and we have a little uh, little rock point right there you can look out over the edge. That is super cool. All right, nice. Well, uh, now what? Where's that trail at? We're coming upon it. Yep, it's up a little further. Oh, look at all the uh, rock cliffs here. That looks awesome. And then out in the distance, you can see the bridge over there. And it shows the bridge there, but on the map, it shows that the bridge is not built. So that's interesting. I think we're going to come down this, and then we're just going to kind of mosey ourselves down the mountain to check that other uh, vehicle out here. So that is the plan. There's a water tower up there. I can see it. Okay, so we're pretty close to the farm now. I think we can make our turn right here and go down this mountainside without getting into too much trouble. Let's see. We don't kill ourselves in the process. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Yeah, I see the vehicle down there. I don't know. It looks like it's that big, huge cat truck. Okay, here we go. We got it. Hold the brakes. Don't wreck it. Don't wreck it. Don't wreck it. Don't wreck it. Don't hit the tree. We're good. We're good. Oh, man. That was close. We did all that work getting down the hill, and now I can't even get all these stupid railroad tracks. There we go. There is the truck in question, and then, okay, the bridge is absolutely out. Absolutely out. Yep, there it is right there. I think we can change it to it as well. Maybe not. Nope. It's damaged. Something's up with that. Not really sure. But what a cool map, you know? Not only a cool map, cool truck. This uh, Ram 250 is, is pretty darn neat. And uh, I will have it linked in the description below if you want to check it out there. But I think we'll end things here. Yeah, I don't think that is going to happen. If we can go over this, we're going to put it in. Oh. Oh, it's the invisible wall. Isn't that sad? I was going to say, we just jumped right on over it into the water. But all in all, I highly recommend this mod. I think it's amazing. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. I get asked all the time, do I have any merch available or when are you bringing back the JF logos and some other fun ones that Nicole has done recently? You can check out the link in the description below or you can uh, look below the video and it should be there uh, so you can go directly to the store. But uh, just want to say thank you all for the support.